Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Snake, and let's go ahead and jump right into the action inside two-story dorms. After a bit of skerfuffle with him and Lan healing, a little bit of back and forth, we go ahead and uh, find him inside a two-story trying to camp and heal about 40 seconds after the first engagement, and we quickly get rid of him nice and easy. We obviously take a shit, and if you're wondering, those MP9 mags uh, were using AP6.3s, that's why I took him. Well, after that entire raid, I went ahead uh, running towards extraction, and we got ourselves eyes on this homie running left to right, so we obviously engage him. And then I quickly spotted that second one, and this is the part where I would try to suppress the shit out of them. Doesn't matter if it hits or not, my survivability is main priority right now. Uh, so I know he's behind that van right now and I am quickly checking which way he's going to go. Uh, what gives me the advantage is below the van so I can see if he's going left or right. And I switch to the other side. This is the part where I'm going to go ahead and use that little tiny advantage and see that he went right and then came back and this is where I shot him into the legs like there is no tomorrow. Damn. And as you can see, we right there, we just laid it into there. Also right there, we left one of the mags because uh, we were full on loot. So we picked that one up and uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, start healing up. All right there, we're looking for the body of the first guy right about here. Uh, we almost fully healed up. As you can see, we still got an arm. I'm pretty sure I used up all of my... Uh, uh, survival kit for that one so we couldn't do that so let's go ahead and make it quick I'm quickly trying to get all the high value items right now and uh, as you can see right here I go ahead and realize that that player scab does not have anything with him he was probably a fresh spawn so let's go ahead and uh, to the body of the second one and uh, this one put up a great fight as you can see when I uh, went ahead and uh, checked the magazine it says 6.3 checking my surroundings for if there's a third because if there's two there's three anyways uh, another one <laughs> I realized that he was using a 10 rounder and then you know what since I used so many on the healing uh, healing supplies I might as well just you know grab everything and apparently just uh, mags and this is where we go ahead and extract and see our loot that entire raid was summarized in about less than three minutes, and this is what we have came out with. Uh, estimated about 400,000, uh, give or take, in uh, loot, which we sold. And if we didn't sell it, we just went ahead and kept it. Let's go ahead and jump right back into another clip. Anyways, every time we start on this side in these woods, we always go ahead and check these jackets, and we find ourselves an RBLO key. key. Uh, it's a marked room key. It's like 75k, and then uh, much, much later on, we engage this up. Uh, player right here. Uh, here I go ahead and spam an ungodly amount of uh, bullets into him and uh, right here I falsely believe that I eliminated him and there it's a two-man team that's who shot at me at uh, later so I go ahead and chuck a grenade at the location of where the car is just in case uh, they already paid they didn't want to extract so you know you gotta keep them on your toes and reposition upstairs to get a better vantage point and obviously go ahead and uh, take a painkiller here uh, so in case they do shoot me in the leg I and I get a fracture or a black leg I don't go ahead and start um, what's the word for slowly walking <laughs> I don't know like uh anyways um cut a little bit forward here and the only reason that I know that this, um, the quest was completed and this is where obviously I feel safe after I jump down I go to the very first position and go ahead and take a look where I thought I killed a person and then I realized wait a second it wasn't a two-man team it was a one-man team then I go ahead and go uh, find a person right here and I scroll up and I see gazelle armor it's like wait a second I might need this and then I go ahead and decide against it because um, the only reason I would need it is for uh, personal use or for that one quest which we don't need right now and uh, repairing gazelles are like very bad because they're ceramic even though level five so might as well just let the guy get it back on insurance or I highly doubt he even insured it because it's already been completely destroyed it's no use so right here I show a clip of uh, me opening my sick case with all the found and rate keys which we'll need to an explanation later when I show this loot over here
Here's the wonderful loot and let's check if fire clean is still 200,000 and it dropped by like 40% but it's still a good amount of chunk of money. Hell yeah. Uh, price and screen. I might turn this in. Alrighty there. As you can notice that I go ahead and uh, cut up my clips to just PvP and then show all the loot. This is the first time we hear this. Uh, we realize it's a pistol and we spot this guy and start unloading into him then we realize it's a scow and i was like wait a second if you want us engaging that there means that the player is still here somewhere or he probably died by the scow uh, we heard him down there and we engage here if you heard that little break that sometimes my uh, mouse stops the continuous clicking and this is a situation nobody wants to be in and where somebody like a scav engages you when you're trying to uh, do surgery. Ooh, this right here. Um, I knew someone was inside there and then that confirmed it after he was running out like he got some shit. Right here I just go ahead and unload my entire magazine. Hope it hit. The reason is to just slow him down and, you know, immobilize him, demoralize him, slow him down, pretty much all of that, and then we try to flick around. Now, right here, we notice his big-ass blue backpack, that's why we engage him. And judging by how many bullets he's taking, I'm like, wait a second, this is a chunkers, and we pretty much got the entire advantage on him. And it looks like we finally eliminated back into the loot. Uh, <laughs> We start uh, searching and it's like, oh boy, that's a junker. And I mean a chunker, not a junker. We go ahead and insurance fraud our weapon because we know we're going to bring it back. And by bring it back, I mean get it back on insurance. Yeah, we, as you can see, we put the two hand grenades in our pockets before we got rid of our tactical rig. And we we're pretty much just uh, sorting all the good stuff from our backpack before we chuck that out. And with that, our survival kit. Oh wait, no, we. I think we keep that. No, we don't keep that. We pretty much get all the loot. And this is where I said, bye, Felicia. And fortunately, we go ahead and get ourselves a fire. Uh, jumping right into the loot, uh, I cut most of this conversation out. Well, when I must say most of it, all of it, because Ba was not only bad quality, but uh, it was pretty boring. Uh, I was uh, renting something about a Gen 4. We got it for free uh, to use. Definitely not going to use the mechanic because it's 128. So basically, you just got to sell the Gen 4 uh, with that much durability for about 50,000 uh, price to repair it. And then we'll probably use it later in our future videos. I went ahead and put up uh, already the price on screen. That's pretty much how much it's going to cost us. And we still have that DTM DMR as I am uh, editing it right now. Ready there. Howdy. Uh, this could be the last, yeah, this is going to be the last run, win or lose. Two men team just entered blue. Perfect nade. It's another player. Hunting for me, maybe level twenty four. Yep, probably a solo. <laughs> what is going on that's already my fourth kill all right then that was a very good result uh four quick kills in the beginning uh which uh left uh, the entire rest of the raid pretty 
empty so I just went ahead and just looted looted and looted so I'll put it up on screen and that would conclude episode all right thank you all for watching stay tuned maybe finally I'll get 20 million Alrighty then, it comes to an end of episode 4, and this is uh, my favorite thing to do, is to talk to Rekman and tell him to collect. As you can see, some things didn't actually sell, so I'm just going to go ahead and vendor them to their prospective buyers and just, you know, cut it off. Also, when I calculate how much money I uh, receive, I, I usually minus up taxes plus a couple of percentages, so it doesn't actually interfere when I have to go ahead and uh, undercut it once more. And top right, as you can see, we finally hit ourselves 20 million, but that's not going to be enough because not only that, we actually need to get level 30, I mean level 40 to unlock level 4 Ragman. So that would conclude today's episode. And I am not quite sure that I will uh, finish this episode, I mean this series off uh, for the time being.